Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. You need to which one? Do you have rectal thermometers? Oh. Rectal? I, no, I don't think so. No? Oh, no, okay. Is it vaginal even? No. I need one for rectal. The forehead one is really... Yeah, but honestly, I'm going to be... I'm going to be doing... Oh, this one, yeah. I need it for a vagina, oh, that's why. Vagina, no. But it, it might be the same, no? Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to risk it. I don't want to put anything in a vagina that shouldn't be there. Hit it, Frank! What's up, everybody? And welcome to another episode of Broad Motherfucking Topics. I'm your host, Kim Congdon, here with my co-host... Alex Scarlato. Hello, Kimmer. Hi! Dude, what a day we've had. We had a day. I feel so beautiful and womanhood-like. <laughs> we had such a good day today. It started rough. I've come into my own as a girl today. Alex became a woman lady today. Uh, I became a lady person. And she did it all in a NASA t-shirt. <laughs> did our day... Oh, I guess our day did start off kind of rough. It started also, rough. It says nasty. Oh, I. that's really cool. That's pretty fun. I like that. Um, how did... What, remind me. Oh, my day started off fine. Your day... Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We both had fine days until we tried to get in the car. Yes. We were, re- we're getting ready to leave the house, which, first of all, winter in New York is really difficult. It's like bun- between bundling up, remembering things like your hot hands. Hot hands. A, a pair of gloves, a hat, mm-hmm. all that shit. Mm-hmm. And then you finally get outside and realize that your, your car is covered in snow and you have nothing to help yes. with it. Yeah, we just used like our sleeves and a spare shoe of Kim's to get snow off the car for like twenty five minutes. Yep. Um, but still ended up on time to everything that we wanted to do. Yeah, we had to. The way we are taking snow off your car. First of all, I'm still excited about snow, so I was treating it pretty immaturely. I think this is only Kim's like tenth time seeing snow in her life. And she's, I would say the, the maybe wanted. more than 10, but for sure less than 20. She cried in the car this morning. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> over <laughs> how beautiful the snow looked on the trees. It is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it was sweet. I thought it was nice. I, it was a change of pace for you to be appreciating nature in New York. Yes, that's true. I nice. appreciate nature other places. I know, because there's nature other places. Yeah. New York, sometimes we get a snowfall, and I call it nature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really, really pretty, but the car was so full of snow, and the way that we took my boots. And and the thing is that Kim borrowed boots from, she borrowed waterproof boots from me and brought non-waterproof boots along to wear later. So we're using these non-waterproof boots <laughs> To wipe the snow off the car, it literally made no sense. Her the boot that she wants to wear to the stand in an hour is soaking wet in my freezing car. It's I'm just gonna a, put it on. It's a little popsicle shoe. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't. No, I don't know, man. It'll ruin my night. We're noticing. I don't know. We're just noticing how much you and I care so different, le- such different levels about like what we're wearing and how we look for the day. Right. It started rough. Yeah. First of all, Alex has no body mirror in her apartment. No. It blows my fucking mind. Yesterday I had a show and I had a friend come to the show and they were like, your outfit's ridiculous. <laughs> like, I was like, Alex told me it looked good. Somebody got ready in a place with no body mirror. Yeah. I, and and when I saw pictures, I sort of agreed. I was like, my outfit is ridiculous, but you can't tell because when I go to Alex's house I, and I want to look at the outfit I'm wearing, I have to stand on the edge of her bathtub and crouch like a gargoyle in the mirror. I swear this goes along with what we were talking about last week about um, di- like varying degrees of being able to picture things in your mind mentally. Um, because I believe that people who could picture that red star perfectly in their minds don't need a body mirror because I could just picture the clothes on my body. Yeah, I can't. You know what I mean? I have no idea what they look like. That's crazy. Yeah. That's I can't so put stressful. Them together. I get why you're always stressed getting dressed in the morning mm-hmm. then. I have no idea what it's going to look like when I put it together in my body. Yeah. Well, that answers a lot of questions, but for sure. So There was a point, by the way, Kim, you were so extra this morning. Why? There was a point where you changed outfits a few times and then you were like, I'm changing my underwear. And you, <laughs> you they 
That's felt horrible. a little. I got new underwear in there, and I got them in my regular size, and they just that this new underwear I got feel a little tight. Like not tight, but they're short it's like shoes. You got to wear them in a little. Like, no, you gotta wear no, your pussy in because these are like, lace, so they don't even stretch. That's they the give, worst. They I don't like n- lace underwear for that. They purpose. don't give anything, mm-hmm. and they're a little short from the pussy to the butt. I've just never seen somebody like have to take all of their clothes off. <laughs> To change their underwear and then put all of the same clothes back on and be like. You gotta do I was not. It like, it was like physically hurting my butthole. No, that's not okay. I agree with that. I have, I usually don't make those kinds of mistakes with outfits, but every now. I I couldn't feel it at first. My, my biggest mistakes with the outfits are, um, like pants or skirts where there's a band around my stomach that's a little bit too tight that doesn't feel too tight when I first put it on. But if I wear it for 12 hours, like it literally hurts to take it off because I feel like it's moved my organs around. I have a few articles of clothing like that. And one of them I like so much that I just continue to wear it. Yeah, sometimes you just go through pain. We went through pain today for some beauty. That's true. We just went for it. If you notice that both of our faces are very red. You see me? You see me? I've been squeezed. (laughs) We went, we spent a day. Sorry, I just scratched my butt on air. That's allowed. The winter makes me itchy. Yeah, you got, well, that's another thing about winter in New York. You have to moisturize after every shower or else your skin just dries up like. I usually do, but I feel like it's drier than normal. Yeah. Well, I got this like special lotion that's like. Yeah, you have a lotion I have that's lotion like. lotion that's like burn victim it's like lotion. Con- it's like concrete cement yes. on your skin. It's so nice. Yeah. It's really it's, good for the winter. It's great. Yeah. I'm going to have to use some of that. You should. Yeah. It's been re- really made me itchy. But what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. We went to, we spent a, a day. Oh, so we took the We got our the nails did. We got our nails done. Yeah. And we had an awkward moment with the nail lady because there is one lady you had an awkward moment with the nail lady <laughs> i was fine yeah yeah well you know what they were they were gonna give her to you they were you actually took a bullet for me yes yeah. so don't be throwing me <laughs> under so, this bitch so we go betrays the- <laughs> me at the at the same table we drink together you betray me so so we go to the nail salon with kim's cousin and on the way there kim makes a point to her cousin where she's like now you know who's good and who's not so good at doing nails there so if they try to give us somebody who's not good like we need you to speak up and be like no we want somebody else right um but then just by like turn of chance like your poor cousin just kept getting pushed to the side of everything yeah like she was like didn't get to sit with us for pedicures and then was like a mile away while we were getting our manicures mm-hmm. and so she was not able to come to the rescue mm-hmm. when we we're switching from pedicure to manicure and they tried to she was like so helpless in the chair she was looking at me like i don't know <laughs> i don't know because the lady that wanted to you, do yeah, alex could... shout from across the room not her <laughs> <laughs> the lady that wanted to do my m- me and alex's manicure first alex then when i started saying she was something dying sh- for a customer by the she way was... she sat there quietly like twiddling her thumbs while we got our toes done let me tell you this she was bitch hungry did, this bitch did my nails once okay never again it looked like i had dipped them in like like, it looked like I put oil in my fingers and then dipped them in the bottom of a hot Cheetos bag and left. Okay. It was like an issue. Like, it they was weren't like, even smooth. They were a textured No, you nails. ever, you know when you do your own nails? Yeah, and it's a problem. And it's a huge problem, and then they stick to things, and then they sort of fold. Mm-hmm. And you're like, why doesn't pa- the paint ever work? Mm-hmm. That was what it was. And, yeah, and it's not cheap there either. It's not cheap. Yeah. No, it's not. And so as soon as I saw her opening her chair, looking at us, I know what the problem was. She thought that you wouldn't say anything because <laughs> you're it's quiet, sweet, gonna cry, <laughs> white girl. They saw a she white knows. girl at the nail salon in Harlem and they said, we're gonna stick her with the girl who's just learning how to do nails. <laughs> yes. That's what they happened, said. This okay? girl does not care about her nails. They said, I dare her to speak up. <laughs> they said, she'll think they're good. <laughs> <laughs> um, they so, said the size of her earrings today do not fool us <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nice try bitch um, so yeah so I you know I had to do the awkward thing and I sort of it was kind of awkward I kind of was like 
I didn't know how to go about it. But you were strong. My, you you were strong willed, strong heart, brave mind. Was I rude or polite? In? How would you? I think that you were really neutral. I think you played it off really well. Okay. Yeah. You said, but what did you say though? I said, "Oh, you're not doing my nails to that girl." Yeah, to the girl, like the like. Oh, I really wanted you. Like, yeah, yeah. And then she pointed. And she said, "No, she's gonna do your nails." And to the girl that does shitty nails, and I went, "Um, can she do them?" <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I said. But and, then, and then I was like, "Sorry, thank you." But then they got the message, and they didn't give her to me either. Yeah, they just got the tone of the whole thing that we were like, "We don't like her." They knew that I was gonna be asking for my money back after your set. Honey. And then what they did was made her practice on another person who worked there in while we were in of us. front of us. <laughs> while we were get- that part kind of hurt. That I part feel. hurt. We couldn't look her in the eye, obviously. <laughs> she had to do extra But I got to tell you, she, she needs pro- the practice. <laughs> Entire extra manicure yep. for nothing. Yep. Yeah. Because we didn't like her work. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Listen, I can't. I get it, though. I would have been so upset. I was gonna. If Do you we, think she could have done my lines? <laughs> no, 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 no. Your your lines were your lines are very minimalistic and like. Per, I was I was holding my breath while the girl was drawing on your nails, and then she'd do them, and I'll I'd go. You, <laughs> I don't usually go to the nail salon because the whole shit gives me anxiety. I'm like, I'm way overpaying for something that's only gonna last two weeks, and I have to hold my breath while the person's doing it because if they fuck up, I might be too timid to ask them to do it again you gotta get braver at a salon i know you gotta realize how expensive they are if they were if they were the prices they were in 2008 i would say less but i can't be spending a hundred dollars every time i go when i went and 10 then years ago and looking at them and being like it's crooked yeah 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 no you can't no it's too much money you get them done every two weeks that's 200 dollars a month just on nails not, not only that but you do spend a lot of time in the nail salon like i don't mind going with you but i obviously literally don't go when we're not hanging out because i don't want to sit can in we a tell the fun lo- fact about your time <laughs> <laughs> You can tell the audience the disgusting (laughs) fun fact about my pedicure today. (laughs) So Alex takes off her feet, shoes to get get. Alex takes off her shoes to to (laughs) she takes off her shoes so the pedicure can happen, and she still has the nail polish on her toes from our last pedicure. One year no, ago. it wasn't a year ago. You said a year. No, it was when I came to visit you in LA. Six, when was that? It was June. Jo- six months? June. Six months June. ago. <laughs> six months ago. <laughs> I don't like sitting. I'm not going to sit in the nail salon by myself. Move back to New York if you want my nails and toes to be put together, Kim. I don't know what you want. This is your fucking she fault. Had, she had no color on any of her toes. And then the two big toes so just had like, like three. So like the four smaller toes had <laughs> all fully grown out. So like as I'm clipping them, I'm just clipping polish off of them. And they're fully grown out now. So there's no polish left. But the big toes just have this little like line of polish at the top it was rancid dude everyone was shocked when she took off her socks a problem (laughs) that's why they gave you that lady they're like this pig doesn't care dude i'll tell you the girl who did my pedicure though she was killed it fire she was great i feel like they gave me the person that they give elderly women who have foot problems to (laughs) Do you know what I mean? Like, there's that one girl who could like really take care of like a little. She pulled off. She pulled off the sock and said, "We got a code blue. We need Nancy." She might as well have been a doctor. Honestly, (laughs) she had to do some work. Yeah, you have to putting it paint on uh, Alex's toes is like laying foundation on a house. (laughs) Not easy, dude. It's like grouting your tile. You got to be careful. Oh man! But then, then we went over to the the. Well, we had before that we had the really good sandwich. We had really good sandwiches. Kim mm-hmm. fed me in the morning, which is like I'm like almost like not to be fed in the morning. Like I'm a different person. Mm-hmm. I'm like a gremlin. You can't feed me before four. Mm-hmm. But Kim gave me food in the morning, and I turned into a girl and girl. By the morning, she means two p.m. Everybody. <laughs> So that's <laughs> two p.m. It felt like literally, it literally, it it felt literally like, two forty, but almost three. Truly, but yes, I fed her in the morning. It felt like an early breakfast to me. <laughs> it really did. I was an so early grateful. Breakfast. <laughs> I was so grateful somebody was feeding me that early in the day. <laughs> we hung out the other day. We both had a coffee in the morning. We had a full day. I went and got ramen with Ian Fidance. Mm-hmm. 
I came I back. I came here. I did three shows. You did three shows. We left. We went back to the house. And I said, did you eat today? It was 7 p.m. Mm-hmm. And all she had had was the coffee. Ian brought donuts in that morning. You so had a, I had a donut. One donut. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's sick. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah. She, and she eats. Now. Yeah. I'm getting hungry, too. Yeah. And this bitch eats. I eat good when I eat. Yes. I eat a full plate. Yes, because you haven't eaten 46 <laughs> days. Starving. Because yeah, you're close to death, bitch. <laughs> um, it's probably not going to do well for your um, your thermometer. Bitch, don't worry about me. <laughs> Listen, I'm worried. This I've been trying to do hot hands on my body. I'm feeling a little cold. I have a secret hot hands in my pussy. <laughs> I'm gonna put this hot hands in between my legs. That's unfair. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see your you hot hands. Take yours out. Performance enhancing <laughs> packets. If you guys forgot, last week we said we were talking about we learned the temperatures. Well, can G Mike? Can you pull up some the facts again to remind the people? We found out through G Mike's experience that he could feel the difference in temperatures in 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 specific in pussies. He said he didn't think he could like figure each person out, but he thinks that he like that different pussies are a little bit different no i said by feeling by and feeling. then you said is it do pussies have different temperatures and i was like yeah sure yeah okay you know what makes me uncomfortable that we don't <laughs> we don't have this camera up so i are we going in the bathroom so and doing we don't this? know what we could see and what we can yes it's so much funnier if we insert them here that's why i was well, that's what i was gonna do it's way funnier if we insert them in the but, room, I, but wish, I feel like i'm gonna get in trouble with lewis and ralph if we insert something into ourselves in this room i don't with care. the brand new table here we can insert something into ourselves i think i'm i think that they're gonna be upset g mike do you think we'll get in trouble if we insert these <laughs> at the table guys i would be upset if you didn't Okay. See, have some balls, Alex. All right, he's what are okay they gonna? With it. What are, that? That's your big fire at Gas Digital. That's the big moment they let her go for. They're like, you know what? After all she's done, she stuck a puss, a thermometer in her pussy, and we said, that's it. You know what? I'm that crosses be, the line at our company. Guys, I'm gonna be extra careful that the pussy thermometer, once it goes in my pussy, doesn't touch anything else at the studio. I'm wipe. I'm slugging across this table. <laughs> I'm wiping mine on the pillow. I'm, ma- I'm making this table look like a slip and slide. <laughs> look like a slug crossed it. <laughs> um, how do we do this without seeing what? Well, the cameras aren't looking under the table. G Mike might. Yeah, be I assure you, the cameras table. cannot see either of you. But you can see me. <laughs> Do you want me to like put something up and no, then that's... I won't? I promise I won't peek. Uh, ew. <laughs> I've never. <laughs> I promise you won't peek. <laughs> Mike, what if you came in and just pinky promised us both? <laughs> Before or after? Then we'd believe it. Um, how do we do this? Maybe we'll put a coat right here. Yeah, I guess that would work. I'll go get a coat. That big black, maybe that big black one out there. The one that's like a. <laughs> the big black one, okay? How do I put this in my pussy? Kim, are we going at the same time? I can't believe we're doing this. Oh, yeah, so are we explaining is what it we're a, doing? Is it a mouth thermometer, too? Can we explain what we're doing? We haven't explained it. Go ahead. Tell them. Yeah, well, okay, so I think that we might have different ideas of this premise, because in my mind, we just kind of talked about temperatures of a pussy, and we kind of got competitive about whose pussy's hotter. I don't really care. I feel like that's <laughs> what happened, truly. I Well, the thing was, if there was a third person, which is, there's only two other, if there were the other two women at Gas Digital, I thought it would be funny to do the hottest pussy. At Gas Digital. At Gas. We could do it, like, tournament style, though, like, me versus you, and then, like, Shannon. We could also just, oh. we could just write down the temperatures. Yeah. We have to all do it at once. We could also have it recorded on our podcast <laughs> like it is right now <laughs> without writing it down and just have it. No, I mean, but if Shannon and Natalie aren't here. They could do it. They could do it. It's and tournament style. With us. Exactly what yeah. you said. Yeah, that's what we should do. And so goes the hottest pussies at Gas Digital. Can, right. we, ha- can we get a drop for that? Boom, boom. The hottest pussies at gas digital. 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 <laughs> I make it as gross. Can as you possible. go home and put um put a microphone into like a pot of macaroni and cheese oh, and, and just stir kind of it. stir it and it'll or get sound- some, I'm sure you can find macaroni. <laughs> Instead of doing all that, you could just find audio. <laughs> no, no, I'll make it myself. <laughs> I like a challenge. <laughs> Okay, so 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 this is the first 
the first ever. What do you? This is the, these are the hot pussy playoffs. Hot pussy playoffs, right? And the first bracket is me versus uh, Alex Scarlato. Mm -hmm. I'm truly worried about my pussy. I've been cold all day. I'm cold right now, and I'm just thinking about how embarrassed I'm going to be if my pussy comes in like under temperature. If my pussy comes in any uh, sixty degrees, you'll <laughs> I'm quitting the podcast, dog. Gone, dude. G Mike, can you see me? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. He's, he's looking. Okay, this is what we should do. Through me right we now. We should do yours. Because well, of he course you want me to go first. Can I tell you why? Sh fucking shocker. <laughs> I'm so surprised. Guys, can you believe it? <laughs> Kim wants me to go first. No, Alex, can I tell you why? Go ahead. Because he can't see you. He can see directly at me. I cannot see your vagina. He cannot. I and I'll I just hold, have to I'll, trust I'll him. hold the coat up for you. Right here. You ever go to the beach and hold a towel up? For yes, a change that's of what friends? I'm gonna do. That and it makes me think of friendship. And if you're funny enough, you rip it away. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Keep watching the podcast. <laughs> Wait, I don't want to go first. You haven't explained why I'm going first. Because I'm gonna hold this up for you, and then you're gonna come over, and I'm gonna. There's no reason I couldn't hold it up for you <laughs> first. That's still not a good explanation. I just think it. I think I want to see you go first. This was all your idea. <laughs> I know. No, 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 no. I think you I should either wanna... that either you should go first or we should do it at the same time. Yeah, okay. just do it at the same time. I think like okay. we should insert it. The but same... then, but then we can't hold it for the each other. The audience is gonna find it wildly sexual that we're inserting something into our pussies at the same time on the podcast. You I have think... to make eye contact. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, first of all, let's read the instructions. How much time do we have? The right. instructions are not going to say to put it in your pussy at all. <laughs> it says rectal on it, I'm though. I'm so nervous. Okay. Extra large digital display numbers <laughs> and fan hang. Okay. So how long do we have to put? 20 seconds? <laughs> the whole podcast, dog. Okay, hold on. 20 seconds is. Whose coat is this? This is your coat. <laughs> is this your coat? <laughs> oh look how respecters. G Mike, is this your coat? That G Mike is, is coat. Look, he wants things. our pussy juice near his coat. This well, you fucking... know you're supposed to put it in a puddle, I don't right? Blame him. <laughs> um okay, he's doing go. that thing like when you're taking a test in the first grade and you put your folders up so that you can't see the person next to you's test. The thing is, if I take off my pants, are you gonna be able to see? We're not are you gonna take your pants off completely? No, I have to pull them down a little. I was just gonna kinda reach in. Oh, okay, I'll do that too. I was kinda and my pants were kinda tight though. So, so wait, read how to do it first, or you're just going to have a Kim, you press the button, and you, in theory, put it in your mouth or your asshole, but we are choosing the third Should we hole. test in our mouth first? Probably. <laughs> Let's take down our... our, our uh... you, you guys said vagina first. I don't care. I'm just saying <laughs> no, that's what no, you guys said. I think said. that's too far. I think that's too far. <laughs> no, we're not going fucking pussy to mouth no. on the podcast, no. you Mike. That was yeah. just a joke. That how would did, have to go behind a get, large how did, paywall. How did you get it out? Yeah, this genius wants to stick it up her <laughs> vag willy nilly. How'd you get like this that? Out? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm just weak. Okay, so here. Is it for the mouth too? Oh. Oral and rectal. Okay. Well. Oh, it beeps when it's done. 97.6. 98. Ooh. So it's looking good so far for you. I guess I'm hotter than you, Kim. God damn it! <laughs> What's the regular temperature you're supposed to be? I thought it was like 96. 98.6. Whoa. I'm a little low. You're a little low. Am I okay? I think we're just hungry and cold. Okay. I think we're just women. <laughs> <laughs> Is 97.6 too low? No. You're fine. You look all right. She's a hypochondriac. We can't feed into this. She'll go to the hospital tonight because of what I'll go right now. Well, let's see what WebMD <laughs> says. I'm waiting. Wait, so now do we need to clean these before we put them in our pussies? I, you're really going to do that? You think nothing from your mouth has ever gone in your pussy? I, spit, never, in, I spit in my own pussy this you morning. You have <laughs> never <laughs> touched something to your mouth before putting it in your pussy. No, I have. Yeah. I will. What I'm are we doing asking. here? I'm just okay. saying, okay. it would be crazy to wash a thermometer and not make a man wash his dick for the same reason. You know what I mean? No, you're right. 
What are you saving that Red Bull for? She looks taster. <laughs> <laughs> I've been the the top of it looked dirty, so I've been scared to. There was like dirt on it, so I haven't wanted to drink out of it. We need more interns here. That could just be like bullied into doing How? the most menial tasks during the show. Kim's taking it again. Oh, now I'm gonna have to deal with Kim thinking that she's. I could see the look in your eyes. I swear to God, the the entire energy <laughs> shifted when Kim's temperature came out low. I'm like not even like hypochondria is so not me. Like I'll just ignore a problem for months and be like it's not happening. I stop stop being so concerned about yourself. I can't. Thank God. Ninety eight point two. It went up. So that's a problem that it's changed. Well, no. I shoved it deep in my jaw because I was nervous. It's not so a problem. So now I got to do a, a third. Why? Because what if I'm below? She got did, you know I read, <laughs> did you know I read somewhere that if you, even if you're a couple degrees below, you die? No. Mm -hmm. No. You're talking about on the street, like if you're sleeping outside like a homeless person and the temperature literally brings your body temperature down to like 94, then yeah. 97.7. Google says 97 to 99 is fine for a human. Okay. <sighs> but the, this, this shows that this is kind of off. It. I mean, it's... We're going to have to put this in our pussies three times I'm to not, get an average? I'm not doing that. That's a full minute of, put, <laughs> yeah, of no, something in my yeah. pussy on the podcast. Okay? okay? I'm like, I want this show to go on for a long time, and I'll only do a full minute of something in my pussy on the podcast <laughs> forever on this show before the show is over. Okay? Okay. Why are you doing this again? You know I'm not good at talking to myself on the show. I need to see if <laughs> I need to see if it's regular. Guys, I'll I'm getting nervous. So I don't want to insert. <laughs> I'm nervous too. Also, there's something about how skinny it is. <laughs> I just, I, can we get a bigger one of these? <laughs> it's like, couldn't you have gotten us a dildo that doubles well, as a thermometer? If we're going for it, why shouldn't we just go for okay, it? Okay, should we go for it right now? And also, I kind of got to pee. But Kim, it literally says oral and anal. It says nothing about the <laughs> pussel region. I know. Google says it's cool. Google says you could put a thermometer Go in your pussy. Google says you should have the same temperature between pussy, ass, and mouth. Not uh, pussy, ass, It doesn't and say mouth. to do it all at once, but yeah, it says you should have the same. All right. All right. Should we do this on the air or off air? <laughs> we have to do it on air now. I really, I really feel like it's weird. <laughs> I feel like it's a weird thing to do on air. Now that we have to do it, I feel like I'm on my first porn set. You have to. <laughs> Not a, do it in the bathroom. That was crazy. <laughs> that was wild. Clip that. Should we sit on the couch for this conversation? <laughs> um... Kim, are we doing it or are we not? And if I find <laughs> out, Kim, by the way, that, that I... I put it inside of me and I never hear yours beep... I'm gonna have a serious <laughs> problem, okay? You can't, oh, you're having to find another place to sleep tonight. Okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, let's do it. But okay. I have to trust you because I'm not looking under the table to make sure. I just have to make sure it doesn't look like I'm doing anything. <laughs> it's gonna look like. Wait, make sure it's on first. No, you press it once it's in there. No, you turn it on and then you put it in. You put, turn it on and put it in. Yeah, I mean you can press it once it's in there. Okay. I guess that's better too. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I don't feel like we should. <laughs> also, I just realized we're. Well, I could. I'll cut this out if anything. We're not live, so you could just do it and then decide later if you want to keep it in. That's a good point. Like, look at it, see if it. Oh, seems okay. Live you know. on air. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So I, I could just edit all that out and keep it. Look, at, <laughs> look who wants the raw footage. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's trying to keep the raw footage. All right, let's. I feel. I feel more comfortable with that. Okay. Okay. Let's okay, do it. Okay. We're gonna have to look at the footage and, though, because if it's anything jerk, because even you doing this, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to reach my both hands inside of my pants for a minute. There's okay. no way around that part. Okay. Okay. It okay. has to go in there, Cam. See, Mike, don't look. Are you just putting it in the lips, or are you? No, I'm gonna it? Put, insert it a little. How far? How deep are you going? I, I say about here. I was I was ready to go deeper. <laughs> You're a whore. I mean, if you go deeper, you'll definitely win. How deep are you gonna go? Be honest. I already have lipstick stains on my <laughs> lipstick stains. I was gonna go maybe to like 
I was gonna give it. Oh an inch my! And a half. See, now you're making it more hoary. Because I wanted to win. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the winner gets what the winner gets. I might lose mine. Listen, I'm I'm so like, maybe I won't go so deep. I'm so competitive. But I just don't want to find might out. slip on it. I don't want to find out that I inserted and that you just went in the list. My fear is I'm going to insert and things are going to be on it when I keep pulling out. If I go too far, I don't no, want it to I'm look not like... putting the whole thing in, obviously. I'm going to go like I'm here. Holding it I'm to going here. to like here. Okay, you're barely dipping. Yeah. You're going to just just the tip. Just the tip. Just the Should tip. we just do the tip? Okay, just the tip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just the tip. I'm then. nervous. Okay, here okay. we go. Okay. <laughs> it's hard to get in my own underwear. I don't like that all the cameras are still looking at me, but like. <laughs> hold on. Okay, hold on. It's in my okay, pussy. It's. Wait, hold on. It's literally I can't find my hole. Either, which is <laughs> this is hard, you guys. I get embarrassing it. Embarrassing a little bit. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, I'm in. <laughs> okay, me too. Wait, did you push your button? Yes. And now we have to listen for the beep. Yes. I think I pushed it. I'm not sure. How do I know? It would it would have beeped once when you pushed. I didn't it. hear anything. Is that me? <laughs> <laughs> They're both going off like a. Okay, I'm kind of hot, Kim. What I'm not going to lie. What's yours? 99.6, baby. 99.2. Damn it. Fuck. I got pussy fever. Damn it. <laughs> no. Yours, the way yours went off was the loudest. Dog, did you hear that? Did we pick but that both up? Both of you have the same difference. Whoa. Same difference? Okay, wait, 1. so 6 I have a little each. bit more heat in my pussy, and you have a little bit more heat in your mouth. <laughs> We're the perfect threesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's really interesting. Thank you for doing the math so quickly, G. Wow. Wow. 99.2. Uh, that's a hot pussy. 99.6. My pussy almost runs 100 degrees. That's right. I'm actually going to work mine up to that. I I'm gonna, if, I, you know, if I was single, that would go on my Tinder profile. How deep did you go? It's the same difference. It has to be. that deep. I wish I could see how deep I went, but I don't wish I could that either. <laughs> Can we stop with the horse stuff? <laughs> Is it, was it graphic? What, are you hard? That's a whole different story. <laughs> it wasn't graphic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sheath mine again. Okay, okay me too. Um, and I think we should end the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we we finished the first ever first annual the first annual. We're gonna do this every year just to make sure <laughs> that, our that we. So hot. Mike G Mike says we're only at thirty minutes. We could keep on. We could keep on a chug. Oh for a little shit! While. Okay, okay, okay. Good. We should. Yes, because I, I think it... we have more more to unpack. Can from I put that. it there? Yeah, well, it's in, guys. Just if you're watching this episode, do you first have any, of all, don't do snitch on us. There's no reason to snitch on us that we you. did this in the studio. And if you have to, it's like pay attention to what we did with these bad boys. They didn't touch anything but our pussies and their own sheets. What's your Venmo? <laughs> <laughs> Some fan wants that. Oh man! Oh, we should Venmo these. We should auction these off. How much do you think they're worth? How much do you think? And and remember, they do work in your mouth. So Wait, you could, the picture of my temperature still on. If it. You're I'm gonna take a picture of the original temp. If you are a really sick, is mine up? Mine is too. Sh- yeah, beautiful. If you're a really sick person, um, you can buy our thermometers and then use it as your family's thermometer. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny give it to your wife when she's got a cold if you don't like her isn't that fucked up yes that's worth some money by the way this is I feel iconic do you think uh. somebody would get something out of um, using this as their like when I'm sick I put this thing that's been in Kim Congdon's pussy in my mouth just to check if I'm sick yeah, well, yeah. how many tastes would it have what? Like, how many times would you use it before, like, there's no pussy? I don't even probably think it's about once. the flavor. I don't think yeah. it's about the flavor It probably wouldn't even have a flavor. Just knowing it was there? Yeah. I wonder. And then that could be your <laughs> lifelong thermometer for years. <clears throat> Mine's going for 3500 I don't know. Mine was a little bit hotter than your sister. 3800 Yeah. No, I would even go, listen, I'm not trying to fucking rip people off here. 1500 for my th- pussy thermometer, okay? 
That's it. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Venmo to me. I'll mail it to you with a handwritten letter. Wow. I have a good. Yeah, I'm nice to my customers. Here, 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 here. <laughs> the ma- the ye thematity from my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> With, yeah, with a certificate of authentic of, of authenticity, I would send it to them. Wow, for fifteen hundred dollars, you would kiss it with your pussy lips on the envelope. <laughs> he put he put lipstick on them on your pussy lips <laughs> <laughs> and kiss the envelope. Yes. Just a little wet mark between the lips, just so that you know it's from me. <laughs> You'll see that the the kiss smells the same as the thermometer, sealed with a puss, <laughs> sealed with a puss. <laughs> oh shit! Oh Christ! Okay, well I'm like I'm like on this like confidently. Like, see the way I probably I know, <laughs> dude. You've a changed woman. I'm like on this fucking confidence streak now because like I didn't realize how hot I was running. <laughs> <counter>. <laughs> I'm I actually I gotta tell you Seems I feel nice doesn't it <laughs> I'm not hating at all I am grateful for how warm I run I I was scared I'd be in the 96 areas the way I'm feeling this I winter. think there's you gotta stay away from a girl whose pussy is 98 colder than her mouth imagine if her if pussy is 98 degrees like the band from the 90s right right no, right uh, that pussy probably feels lukewarm like when your bathtub water gets too cold you want Ooh. when you're transitioning from making out with a girl to eating her pussy and I didn't didn't know this until today mm-hmm. but it turns out you actually really want the pussy to be like noticeably hotter than the mouth my mouth is hotter than my pussy what it? no <laughs> it's not now she's shamed wasn't it no it wasn't oh you were low remember you were all concerned you were in like the 97 range you're in the right mouth. my you pussy's so much about to go to the hospital over it you've already forgotten yeah i forgot um should we go to the hospital no, no, no. <laughs> so we could show the doctors pussy how okay? hot these pussies are. <laughs> Oopsies, doctors. I just didn't know my pussy was so warm. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that it was my pussy was just so warm. It was like really hot. <laughs> <laughs> Biting on a thermometer. <laughs> hanging out of your mouth. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. fuck. All right, let's take a quick second and thank one of our newest sponsors. It's Shinesty. Finally, the sales team has gotten the Hot Girls of Gas Digital something special for us. It's an underwear sponsor, and it seems like they chose a really good one. Shinesty is one of the internet's favorite brands, and it's the ultimate underwear brand uh, to match with your man or woman or whatever. If you're into that, I guess you can match. Um, it's time to ditch the little red number that you have and spice up your Valentine's Day outfits. Say goodbye to the mushy, gushy flowers and chocolates this Hallmark holiday tries to shove in our faces and say hello to the Valentine's Day clothes that you've never seen before that actually embody the holiday. I can almost guarantee you've never seen matching couples ensembles consisting of smiling condoms, bananas, and positions that require stretching before trying. Shop Shine SD's matching Valentine's Day outfits for couples because nothing says I love you like covering your no-no squares and matching emojis foreshadowing what's going to happen after too much of that pink wine. Shine SD doesn't stop at just underwear. They've got ski suits to look your hottest on the slopes this winter all the beer gear you could possibly hope for, and NFL team apparel too. Check out the website, shinesty.com, and see all the cool stuff they have. And while you're there, be sure to use promo code BROAD for 10% off your order and free shipping. That's S-H-I-N-E-S-T-Y dot com. Promo code B-R-O-A-D for 10% off and free shipping. One last time, shinesty.com, promo code BROAD. All right, let's get back to the show. Man, mm. all right, well, now I kind of want Shannon and Natalie to, you know, you know they're now, not. Now they won't? You know, I don't, they don't have not, to do it on camera. Listen, it's not that they're not going to do fucking, it. Shannon's bent over in her house right now, f- farting in jars, dude. <laughs> <laughs> she'll, she'll take up, uh, she'll t- find out her pussy temp. Even if she did it <laughs> in her so. own home and took pictures. I guess she literally cooked to, for, she cooked for the farts. Like she cooked a meal that she thought would produce extra farts, ate that meal, and then farted in jars. She put in a day's work. You know, a girl just got hospitalized for that. She was farting in too many jars. I know. Literally right after right after Lewis came on to this amazing business plan, <laughs> somebody had to go somebody out there had to go and ruin it. 
Um, do you think it was a situation where she w- hospitalized for farts, right? Mm-hmm. In my mind, right. that's you going to the hospital because you have this terrible stomach pain that you think is appendicitis or something. And you have that embarrassing moment where the doctor goes, no, it's just gas. Why? I think I've done that. I've done that, too. I've gone a- to the hospital and been like, take an EKG. I even know what it's called. <laughs> That's a heart thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I'm having a heart attack. <coughs> I've been to the hospital thinking, like, as, like, a 12-year-old, I was like, I'm dying. My stomach hurts so bad. And the doctor was like, it's just gas. It'll pass in, like, I've been an to hour. the emergency room three times this year. Last you year. are extra. You do love uh, FaceTiming from the ER. <laughs> I go, I'm here again. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I am really terrified. It's not my fault. I was raised with a psychopath. You also get like a very special kind of attention in the ER that you don't get anywhere else. Me? Anyone. I yeah. kind of like the care you get at the ER. They're like, you know. Ugh, you haven't been to the ER in my town. I haven't like, been get to in and get out. Florida emergency room sounds like the worst place in the world, honestly. Get in. Last time I went to the ER, I saw an ex-boyfriend. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ, he's going to kill me. That's fucked up. I know. What was he in for? He was just working there, oh. and he was so sweet. He was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, my chest just hurts. So I think I'm having a heart attack. He was like, I'm... Mm. They were like, it's anxiety again. Have you? <laughs> They're like, "It's oh, Kim, it's always anxiety. <laughs> I feel like um, it's like a thing where like you have like a hot doctor who comes in to take your vitals, and he's like, wow, your pulse is really fast. Have you ever had that happen to you? Like a hot doctor, no. and you're like... It's you. The like, you're one. literally so hot. My pulse keeps going up whenever you come over and touch me. The one um, the one time I ever had a hot doctor, he was a hot gynecologist, which is the worst. Yeah. Just walked in. Then, you, then it's even worse. He's like, wow, you <clears throat> produce a lot of moisture down here. <laughs> is it he's always like, Hold on. like this? He's like, I can't get it. His tools are slipping. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, wow, are you always this moist down here? Because this could be a sign of uh, such and such a disease. And you're like, no, dude, it's you. <laughs> no, Put I had in me. The place that I went, I had no idea. The, the, the gynecologist, I looked up the reviews for the place, was like a very old woman. I and love I was, that. And I, I love was, that for a gynecologist, by the way. Right. And I was like, great. This is great. She's mm-hmm. had a pussy for a long time. I she want a person it. who's had a pussy forever and yes. who's seen more pussies than she could count. Yes. And then the and so I do, so when I go and I, at this point when this happened, I was like twenty five or twenty six. Mm-hmm. So I'd already been going to the gynecologist for years. Mm-hmm. So if I know it's this old lady, I was like, I didn't shave my legs. You know, I had a, a couple hairs on my big toe. Mm-hmm. You know, I left. I didn't really. I, I didn't. You know, I got. It wasn't great. It wasn't like my vagina was dirty or anything. But I wasn't like. I wouldn't. I didn't clean up the way I would if I knew I was gonna have a fucking porn star gynecologist come in. Right. Like he looked like somebody who would literally be a gynecologist <laughs> in a porno, but hotter. Would, but like actually authentically hot, like yeah. a good, like a handsome man. I in think his thirties with him, by the way. In his thirties, I don't like that. I, no. I see. Like, I don't want a dude that would fuck me being my gynecologist. No, is that crazy? And also, like, even like, so, like doctors are tend to be like successful people who are looked at as being like a great person to partner up with. But I don't want to marry a dude who's in people's pussies every day, who's hot and in all these bitches' pussies all day. I don't want to marry a guy that wanted to do that. It's for like some reason. you could get in to pussy without be. You could. Get a good look at pussy with just your looks alone. You didn't have to go to medical school. And if this guy is straight, he ha- he has to be attracted to some of the people that he's looking at. Or, yeah. But then also he is, like, has to be weirdly okay with looking at these, like, old woman pussies that just are, like, to look at, Just to look at other pussies. Yeah. Or maybe like he it. just really wants to change he the just world. Wanted to help. He wanted to deliver babies. His like, mother, so like, his mother had trouble. At, he almost died when his mom gave him. Yeah, gave his birth mother to died him. giving birth to him. <laughs> she had just, a bad doctor. He wants to. He wants, <laughs> he wants to bring babies into the world and do good. And we're like, this fucking pig wants to eat us out. <laughs> what an animal! Yeah. So I, I went in full, full, hairy legs. I was fucking mortified. Now that's a. That, I don't. I'm never ashamed. If I'm paying you to do something for me, I'm not ashamed if my legs are hairy. Now no. that goes from getting if I a pedicure. Fuck you, I am. Yeah, I guess so. But it's like once you're my gynecologist, I don't want to fuck you anymore. 
That's yeah. all that. That's all there is. So I'm like, well, yeah. he's my gynecologist. He knows hair grows on the body. He went to yeah. fucking med school. Right. Like, I just don't care. Even a hairy pussy is probably still better than a lot of the things he sees. Yeah, I he mean, probably sees some, some blue up waffle shit. type shit. Blue waffle type shit. Is blue waffle real? Is the blue waffle real? Everything I've seen looks real. <laughs> I don't know, dude. No, I want every time. I got to tell you, I hate the blue waffle, but I love waffles so much that if you even say the word waffle, I'll want to eat waffles. <laughs> I swear. Anytime anyone brings up blue waffle, I get hungry. <laughs> dude, I've been trying to like cook healthy foods whenever I make food at home. And meanwhile, Harrington has fucking chocolate chip waffles that he's smearing Nutella on one and peanut butter on the other and then putting them together as a fucking sandwich. It's, it's insane. Really hard. It's hard. Not to live that life. I had to cuss at you guys. With all that kind of stuff in it. I had to curse you. Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. I said, Kimmy, come take a bite. And you said, go to hell. I did. <laughs> yeah. I did say go to hell. Oh, man. This has been so much fun so far and you've only been here for like two days. I know. That's it's crazy. great. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it too. Blue waffle is fictional, by the way. Really? Yep. That it's a fictional sense. sexually transmitted disease. A round of applause for all the women out there. Without a waffle, we that's ain't blue. We're going to get a waffle. A waffle. A waffle. <laughs> I'm sorry. Were you? <laughs> I just don't like that kind I've of thing. I've never seen you look so intently, <laughs> intensely at anybody ever. Are, Are you going to be okay? sniffing the back of this coat later? Do you want the thermometers? Can... I won't charge you. <laughs> you think that's what I do? I, I wait for you to leave so I can smell my coat? <laughs> yes. He's nodding at me. <laughs> um, What are we at? I have to pee so bad. We're good. R We're good? Wrap it up. Yeah, let's wrap it up. I got to pee. All right. Let's wrap her. Let's wrap her twice. Let's wrap let's, her twice. Let's double wrap her. You guys, thank you so much. That was so fun. What a good episode, Alex. We fucking did our first annual uh, uh, pussy. What do we call it before? Um, pussy. That way was our. It was our pussy temperature. Pussy playoffs. Pussy playoffs. The pussy, pussy playoffs. playoffs. Mm -hmm. The gas digital. Pussy is she playoffs. hot or is she cold? Is she hot or is she? Cold? What's hotter, her pussy or her mouth? <laughs> There's a lot of different ways you could think of this game. Yes. Um. So check out next week. Hopefully we'll be able to get Sh Shannon and Natalie in on the. Uh, I also feel like we should get a round of applause for seeing something through for once. Like, we've never said, let's do something like this, and then actually went out, bought the things. Look at us. We literally inserted them into us at the table, which yes. I thought both of us were going to um, back, back out, out of. On. I think that we deserve, like, a massive round of applause. For or, this like, you could subscribe. We're growing. <laughs> if you're just, like, yeah, if you're just listening, you could subscribe. Also, too. if you're clapping, please subscribe. Leave some comment or some shit. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, you guys can follow me on Twitter at Kimberly Congdon, on Instagram at Kim Congdon. Check me out on twitch.tv slash queenkong1. I get my PC in about two weeks. I'm super excited. I'm going to be streaming every day. I'm super excited about Hashtag that. Hashtag gamer girl. Hashtag gamer girl. Hashtag very cool. Hashtag 99.6 pussy. Um, and you can check out my uh, my other podcast, This Bitch with Sarah Weinshank, available anywhere you find podcasts. And Alex, what about you? Hell yeah. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at I am Alex Scar. Um, also, head to gasdigitalnetwork.com. Uh, use promo code TOPICS30 for a 30-day free trial. Access to every single show on demand. Bonus content, live chat, all the fucking good shit. Um, also check out uh, Stick and Portly Watch Rick and Morty every Monday right after Legion of Skanks, only on gasdigitalnetwork.com slash live. Head to podcastmerch.com. Get some of our merch. We have really good shit there. It's like yeah. t-shirts, sweatshirts. There's trippy designs. There's basic designs. Whatever you want. If you're a fan, go do it. Um, and... That's it. That's it. Yeah. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks for listening, guys. We love you. We love you. Bye. Bye.